defensive set, but ETSU's been playing great man-to-man -man defense. Should be a good battle. Justin Gordon, the left-handed jump hook, gets the friendly. Petey McClain ahead to Gwen. Gwen going to try a three from the far wing. Geelon Gwen, the senior. Petey McClain guards Garcia. Garcia wins the battle and lays it up off and the glass. Because they're crowding their shooters so much. Great move by Cromer on the other end. Each team with four personal fouls. Gwen left all alone, and Geelon Gwen without a hand in his face is so... Intercepted by go. Deuce Bello, and the one-handed flush for Bello brings the crowd to its 773, the largest deficit for a loss for ETSU this year. Wilson fires he back outside to Cromer. Cromer shakes free of Collins and lays it in. Mr. Wilson in the post, backs in, nothing there. Collins with a quick shot, this time the block. Newman, right place, right time. Collins again, tries the left side, guarded by a couple of bucks, but goes high. And Sir Collins, it's a five on four. Pretty look inside, nether dish, good interior pass. And Gilon Gwynn has it, it's a two on two. Gwynn goes all the way to the hole and lays it in off. 11 points, 7.53 to play, ETSU up eight, 22-14. And the shot by for championship games, tournament games. Nice strong move by Banks, can't finish. Works hard, gets his own rebound, and he's rewarded with a trip out of there. It's a three on two. Bradford drives, gives the dish to Deuce Bello, who flies in from the near side for the two hand. Gets the ball to Gordon. Collins with a quick shot. This time it's Bradford that drives, and DeSante Bradford hangs. Basket. Sawville down low, nice post move, and the baby hook from the paint. Post players. They have good post players every year, but there's no defense for that when DeSante Bradford's for other people because they have to play him so close. Always have to account. Wow! As you said it, Casey. Cromer going to push the pace. He beats McGee and lays it in off the glass. A 5-0 run to start the second half. This time, McLean drives, and he's free. Catch. Nice bounce pass down low. Ryan's quick hands by DeSante Bradford ahead to Cromer. Cromer drives it. He goes up and lays it in over Ryan. The ball to McGee, who nearly throws it away, but it's tracked down with 10 on the shot clock. Wofford has to hurry into the corner. Challenged by Bradford, but a nice shot by 10 on the shot clock. Gwynn working on Garcia. Drives, pull up off the glass. What a move. And has it with a new shot clock. Brooks fires and hits it by Merriweather. A.J. Merriweather's missed nearly the entire season back in the lineup for the first time today. Bradford with the body control. Right time this time, though, C.J. Newman. And Justin Gordon lays it in off the glass by Gwynn. Gwynn one on three, pulls up, and hits the running. From up top, and then they try to pick after the ball comes in. There's your double pick. Shooter for the three. Mm -hmm. Gwynn and T.J. Cromer here late. Jerking a great job of getting low post. But he finds some space and the running floater falls for DeSante. Cromer working on McGee. The hop step into the paint. Steve Forbes imploring his defense. Nice poise by the freshman. Fletcher McGee. Newman applying pressure. Jerkin working down low. The jump hook falls for Peter Jerkin. Chasing him all over the floor. McGee gets the basketball. This time it's Garcia the junior. Shot no good. Ball on the floor, rebounded out of there. It's tied up. And look who comes up with the basketball. A.J. Merriweather comes up with the basketball in his first game back in the entire conference season. Makes the biggest play on a loose ball of the entire season, and he's rewarded by his teammates at the bench. A.J. Merriweather, a smart basketball player, had control. The game with another free throw, it's up. And this one is good, and that's the way this game will end. Got to give Peter Jerkin credit. He changed the game. He of the game tonight. ETSU gets out of here on senior day with a 71 to 66 win. It was not easy. It never is against the two-time defending champ Wofford Terriers. Nice job by Wofford coming into this tough place to play. Battling back from early adversity and really playing well down the stretch. They come up short, ETSU with the win. Uh, ETSU finding a way to win.